What's up, everybody, and welcome to the official PlayStation podcast of the KT Data Network. We are the Little Big Cast. Hey, hey. Uh-huh. On today's show, Jeff loses his mind hating on lizards while bemoaning Black Christmas, oh, while yeah. everyone else pretty much just stays calm and collected. <laughs> Settle down, Jeff. Normal. All this right. and more on episode 36, Jeff's venting episode of the Little Big Cast. Welcome, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeff Hawks. I'm one of your hosts for today's podcast. This is the Little Big Cast, and uh, hey, hey, I totally kind of uh, was weird on that uh, intro. I was a little bit late, and I forgot what I was going to say. So, Jeez. welcome, everybody. <laughs> it's good to be here. With me, yeah. as always, we have a couple. Uh, actually, a full crew. This is the first time in a while that we've had a full, full cast together for the Little Big Cast. Yeah, oh, the planets have aligned. Yeah, it's perfect. So as I mentioned, my name is Jeff Hawks. I am one of four um, very attractive hosts. Our our first uh, host up to, if you're watching the video, it's up. And to the left of my little face is uh, Rachel Hernandez. Hello. Baby Nugget. Woo. I know. I'm the baby Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> baby nugget. <laughs> and directly above me, uh, the Colossus of Clout, Mr. Drew Tyler. Uh, Papa Nugget. The wise Nugget. No, wise, the wise Nugget. On the Wise Nugget. <laughs> and, and top right, rounding out the group, our Jamaican bobsled team member, Miss Robin Hazlett. <laughs> the round Whoop. Nugget. I round oh, of the team. No. <laughs> you know, most people say that they can't believe, but uh, Jamaica, we have a bobsled team. <laughs> it's true. We feel the I don't know if you knew that. Feel that rhyme. Thanks for going there. Yeah. <laughs> feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Guess what, everyone? It's podcast time. Blah. So what? this <laughs> this is episode thirty six of Little Big Cast. I'm super pumped to be with everyone that is listening, watching, and or uh, with us in some respect today. Uh, and I'm excited. This is our year end episode. Next time you hear us, it will be a different year. And uh, so I'm excited. We're going to talk a little bit about um, our top games of the year. We're going to get into some news, a few new releases, even though it's a relatively slow month for the new releases. But as always, to kick it off, we're going to start with uh, kind of a weekly roundup. And I vote Rachel goes first. Okay. Okay, going first. Uh, I started a little bit of Far Cry. Um, I know. Yay. Hurrah! Indians and cool. Not Indians. It's in India. I like Himalayans. It yes. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Elephants and stuff and cool art. Kira- they're sure. Kiratis. Kiratis. Kirat- <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. That one. They kinda, I feel uh, like I kind of talk like the people in the fifth element. But I, <sighs> I'm too Kirat. Oh, I don't know. Gosh. Don't they say, don't they like, yeah, doesn't uh, uh, they do. Lilu Dallas talk like that? Like Kirat? <laughs> Corbin <Sorry>. Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also started my Twitch account too, and it didn't work out watch very well. I know, no, oh, watch me, but uh, I want to come see you. I want to come see it. Only if you want to watch me try and shoot a wolf with an arrow and missing every single shot. So I'm used to arrows being like long distance range, and apparently they're not in Far Cry. They're like close range, and so you I was gonna buy like, that attachment that tells you how far <laughs> off you're shooting. Oh my gosh, it was awful. I was like so far away from the wolf, and I was just shooting and <laughs> shooting. I'm like, I'm being streamed. This is so embarrassing. Uh-huh. Wait, so the arrows are not long distance? They're short. Well, I mean, it's it's like yeah. a, I mean, it's like a real bow and arrow. So you have to adjust for um, distance. Okay. So if you're shooting at something that's eighty yards away, oh, you got to yeah. aim up. Oh, so, oh, one of those. Okay. Because there's a bullet drop. You fancy. I I gotta watch you stream. I'm really excited to see you streaming on Twitch. But uh, I was uh, I was gonna play Destiny, but unfortunately PSN was down. <laughs> Darn. Bastards. Darn. Lots so, of PC games. We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll get into that. Um, and then I was going to play Far Cry today, but AMC was having a Breaking Bad marathon today. Oh, and no. I revamped my love for the series. Yeah, I was oh. going to say, you've already seen it, right? I have. I've completed uh, the series. See, I don't think Breaking Bad is a show that I would watch twice. I do. Because, like, you just... 
Because watching it again, you kind of see, like, the foreshadowing parts yeah. you never knew about. Like, the eyeball. The little stuffed animal eyeball is, yeah, like, and, foreshadowing thing. Yeah. And I think it's cool to see, the like, the character development. Because, like, seeing Walter White... Spoil, spoil. In the, seeing Walter White in the first two seasons is just... That's as far as I've gotten. It's a pretty way. shocking it's transformation. It's spoilers. Such, yeah, so, yeah, no. Seeing how he acts in the first one is just... And you compare it to how he acted in the last season. It's just, it's so intriguing to to just know how he's going to turn out. So Ugh. I think it's awesome. And I actually want to rewatch the series again. I think Plus you, get, you get Pinkman. Yeah. And I love, I love, I just want to hold him. I know. <laughs> I know. I just had like all oh, three and just, I just, oh baby, no, I'm so sorry. I just want to hold you. <laughs> yeah, that kid gets screwed. Oh, and Aaron Paul is just sweet. He's yeah. Just so bad. Like Red. all the stuff that he, I can't remember. He like did an announcement for his wife's site or her charity at an awards ceremony, and it like crashed her her site because it got so many hits. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude too. He did a he didn't ask me anything on Reddit, and uh, and then him and Brian Cranston together did a um, like a fundraiser, and one of the rewards if you donated was that that Aaron Paul would call you a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Nice. Like, I, yeah. he he made a video that was like, "Congratulations, bitch! You're a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty funny. So, KT, mark the the timestamps on those so you can edit it if you need to. Uh, because we're a family friendly. What podcast I censor here. things? What? what? Yeah, you know, no. Biggest <laughs> chicken nugget. Jokes. We say shit all day long. Oh yeah. That's how we roll. But it was. It's been fun. That's been. I have. An, I took a nap. I woke up at ten. And I took a four-hour nap. It's been a really lax day. Wow. I, I know. And then I was going to wake up and play video games, and I was like, "Oh wait, I'm Breaking Bad." Then I ate pizza and chicken nuggets. So I'm having. I'm excited, and I get to go snowboarding magical. tomorrow. Yay! I'm pretty jealous of you right now in your life. Yeah, you're busy. So busy. You know, sleeping and cat cuddling and. It's a hard life. Like snowboarding, man. Finally, I know. Snow. I'm gonna be so mad if Homegirl bails on me. I'm gonna go by myself. Do no. I will. Moving I'm on, Drew. Scared. Sorry, hey, I hey, cut you hey. off as you were talking. Nope, I, I know it was gonna up. be deep. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Let's, let's keep going. I'm we're so on the sorry. time. I'm so sorry. Jeez, Drew. <laughs> I'm so not deep. Basically, all I've done is uh, done the holiday thing, surprise the kids by taking them to Disneyland. That was a lot of fun. Super fun. Just that little thing. That little thing. It was expensive little thing, but it was so much fun. Uh, I made magic happen with the kids, so that's nice. I should be good for another six months. Um, you know, with all the yelling that I do. Uh, let's see. Oh, what else? I played Destiny, and I played enough in the last week and a half that I actually got to the point where I could play with the big boys. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, yeah. my hat to you, Drew. Yep. Yeah, the ktdata.net clan. We got together last night, and uh, six of us went in and did the Vault of Glass. About, mm, I don't know, about 80% of it. I don't know. I didn't yeah. quite get to it. But it felt yeah, good. It was fun. We made it like 90%. All we have left is uh, everything that happens in the vault. It's the big good. part, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a good time. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun to play that. It was, there was some really, like, just gameplay-wise, it was a lot of unique and fun things that required six people. I, I thought that was super cool. And it's always fun to play with people. And um, it was good. Uh, what else? to play. Isn't, oh, yeah, isn't the vault, like, doesn't the vault totally change, like, the dynamic of the rest of it? Like, Playing through the Vault of Glass to me was like, holy cow, like everything you do is to prepare you for this. Like, and yeah, yeah. just the mechanics that go into it, I thought were so much deeper than the, anything else in the game. I don't know. I loved, I loved it. Was, it the was vault. deep. Like, it, it, there was a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm excited to see it keep growing because Bungie's just going to keep adding things in their expansions and their other ideas. And I'm excited to see that. This is, and I, you know me, I'm a puzzler gamer, not if, 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 what is it, FPS or FPS? Yeah. <laughs> And so this is, this is unique. <laughs> so it's been good. Um, other than that, I did I did before I went to Disneyland. I beat Steam World Dig. Stayed up all night once and played Steam World Dig, wow. which I talked about I think on our last cast. But I finally I beat it. Um, and then uh, Peggle Two, which you can hear in the background. I love Peggle. Peggle was Peggle's been kind of fun. That was my that was my birthday binge. I bought the expansion packs and Peggle. That was that was it. And then of course, you know, I, I too, not as much as Jeff, but I too was a little frustrated by PSN being down over the weekend because I actually had time to play mm-hmm. and c- couldn't. But that's it. That's me in a nutshell. Let's not forget Robin. happy birthday, Drew. Yes. He, he tried oh, yeah. to hide happy it, happy but birthday. happy birthday. You. <laughs> the big, am I allowed to say? 
You're not a woman. You're 38 years old. I am 38 years old. That's oh. a good year. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a great year. It's been good. I'm an old man. Very cool. I have, Robin. I have gray hairs. <laughs> well, I have gray hairs too, so no, no, no. No, no, no. I know I'm working on it at things that I have done. I did Christmas. It happened. Oh, um, <laughs> with, with, I hear Christmas pizza. With pizza Christmas, Christmas pizza. trees. I had yes. no idea you had Christmas tree pizza. Yes, Christmas tree pizza. Uh, pizza with the pepperoni arranged in the shape of a Christmas tree. Brilliant. And a boatload of pumpkin pie. But no. not like actually pie. made pumpkin pie. It's like the frozen one, like the Marie Colanders. Like, <laughs> it's still delicious. Yeah, it's like, don't judge me. I just eat it straight out of the pie tin. Just, ah. just scooping pumpkin out of the pumpkin and slapping it into a crust. Yep. Perfect. I've, I have no shame. Sounds delicious. Yes, and speaking of delicious, I uh, went to the gym this morning specifically so that I could record the Noms podcast with no guilt at all. It's a good way to do it. Oh, yeah. I have the guilt. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you're going to gain later. It's no big deal. Yeah, I must be missing something because I, I had no thoughts of no. not no. eating them. Lady probs, estrogen probs. I'm oh, yeah. one box. <laughs> Is that it? It's not as easy as you I have to be as pretty. men. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did that. I uh, got a awesome gift card from my awesome mom, and I now own the Kindle Voyage. Woohoo! 300 <laughs> DPI. Oh, sing to me. <laughs> and it sings? Yeah, oh, it sings me the song of my people. Like, I've got like Butters. 200 some odd books on that thing, and it's, 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 a, it's a bad addiction. It's a very bad addiction. I don't think I've ever had the book conversation with you, Robin. That may mm. be ha- may have to save that for another show. Yes. Where we break down like the true level of your nerdiness. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've outnerded everyone else so far. Oh, Jeff, oh, in, the, she just, in the book section. She just said 300 DPI. Let's let's think about yeah. that. <laughs> she's, she's up there. She's nerd level. I'm just saying. All right, we'll we'll see on a later show. We will see the depth of your How deep nerdiness. Does it go? <laughs> we'll come into my rabbit hole. <laughs> What about games, Robin? Do you play any games this week? Oh, let me tell you. I have played games. Uh, lots and lots of Borderlands 2 because PSN whoop, whoop. was down. And so I went to my lovely gaming computer that I built. So level of nerdiness in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I got yeah, the game. You can't prove edition. how nerdy Take you that. are. Get yeah. out of here. Bring it down. So I played that incessantly. And so I, I coped while PSN and Xbox went over the holidays. So I was I was okay. I made it through. I made it through. Glad you survived. I nearly didn't. I didn't think you would. I just oh man, if Destiny yep. is down, Jeff is going to be sitting in a corner in the fetal position, just yep. rocking back and forth, singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> it's worrisome. It's exactly worrisome. what he did. <laughs> Pretty much. My, our entire my, Facebook conversation was just yeah. curse words. It's down. Yeah. Oh, it's still down. And then literally, as soon as I logged in, that was, as soon as that was the highlight. In, the only it's on, person it's logged in was Jeff. <laughs> yeah. uh, so effing frustrating. So I'll kick my week off on a frustrated note. I'm just going to say it. F freaking Lizard Squad, dude. Those dudes can <laughs> suck. Those dudes can <laughs> suck Bigfoot's giant dick. <laughs> I freaking hate those guys. Like, who you does that on Christmas? Like, no, it's, it's like, it's one thing to like, you know, jack up people's gaming weekend, but to do it on Christmas is yeah. freaking bullshit. Like, at, like I remember back as a as a kid, um, I think the only console that we ever got on a Christmas day was an Xbox 360. And had I plugged that in and it not worked, I would have lost my freaking mind. Yeah, that would have been. Like that's I, shitty, dude. Like you have like, millions of parents around the world that have just spent four hundred bucks on their kid, and the kid that's joke. worthless. And did you guys watch the interview that they gave uh, with some Australian news network? No. Nope. They were like, they're like, why did you do this? You ruined Christmas for tons of people. And they're like, we don't feel like we ruined Christmas. We felt like we sent a message to Sony. I'm like, yeah, you sent a message that you're a bunch of assholes. Like <laughs> that's the only message that was sent. So. I give the middle finger a big fat middle finger to the lizard squad. So Katie, I hope you have good security on our website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Uh, okay, I've breathed a little bit. All right. Outside of the Christmas nightmare, <laughs> um, I 
Yeah. I mean, everything kind of revolved around that for me. Like, I was super stressed out because Zer <laughs> was selling the Gallahorn rocket launcher update. What? And I That's the Gallahorn my... rocket horn update. Oh, launcher. No. I guess, I guess, I guess if I was pronouncing it correctly, it would be the Yallerhorn because oh. it's a Swedish word, right? So he was selling the upgrade to go from 300 damage to 302 maxed out at 321 damage. So that's a that's an important upgrade if you are playing regularly. So when I saw that the Xbox users could get on, but I couldn't get on for the PlayStation, I yeah, kind of did lose my mind, mind for a little bit. Yeah, yeah you did. Lots of cursing. Um, mm-hmm. But fortunately, it came back up on uh, Sunday, so I was able to farm Glimmer like a madman for an hour, purchase my upgrade, and all is well with the world. And to kind of sate my uh, need for Destiny during the blackout, of the Christmas blackout. We call it Black Christmas here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I played a lot of Far Cry 4. And nope. the truth is, Far Cry 4 is awesome. Like, Far Cry 4 really, truly is a fantastic game. Agreed. Um, I just... There, I Honestly, I can't even put my finger on, like, what it is about Destiny that is that calls to me. <laughs> but, like, the whole time I played it Far Cry 4, heart. I was just like, I was just like, I just wish I was playing Destiny right now, man. Like, That's the saddest thing. Dinklebot is just calling my name and I can't get to him. It's like I'm in a bad dream where my child is like, Dad, I'm falling and I can't grab her. <laughs> That's, what, that's what Black Christmas was like to me. <laughs> totally uh, helpless. So that was the most melodramatic uh, approach to gaming that I've ever had. Um, and that kind of wraps up my week, guys. It's been wow. a pretty straightforward week. Wow. So, yeah. Far Cry is a cool game, but I think the only thing that I am struggling with is that is that Ubisoft just has the same the same setup for every single game. Mm-hmm. So I'm just I I it's just Assassin's Creed for me, except with towers, modern you have a instead of suit. yeah, Wait, and then it's just Watch Dogs the... with. Uh, oh, it's not Watch Dogs. <laughs> Wait, don't no, no, say that word. <laughs> Sorry, but it's like, I don't know. So, I don't know. I just found out I had to, to do other stuff. And I was like, this is Assassin's Creed. This is just, this hmm. is that. So, yeah. I think it's my yeah. only struggle. I hear you. <sighs> but it's it, so uh, great. It definitely, so like, Far Cry 4 doesn't feel like an innovation as much as it does, like, just a an up version of a game that I already love. It it just feels like it's an improvement. It's not like they, you know, added something really totally new and stellar anything like that, but it's like, here's a new skin. So, basically, it's them reskinning, like, Assassin's Creed. Everything. Like, every <laughs> single year. Yeah. Like, let's put out a new one every year. Next year, fix Assassin's it. Assassin's Creed yeah, this totally. year, Far Cry this year. So Did did we lose Drew? No, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. We just see you. Okay, cool. We just see Night right. 20. Well, that wraps up. Hit my, dad, hit my daddy cap. I think that wraps up our week. So, Drew. What up, bro? Yeah. How are you feeling about news, sir? I can get over to news. I can do something like that. All right. <laughs> Feedback play. I can do it. Then let's kick off the jam. Okay. 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 Jam was playing. He's gone. I'll oh. just go. I can't even hear you guys talk yeah. about the news. Hey, so I think we've talked. Number two and number three are all tuned. All right. Very much related uh, to hang on, hang on, the pause, Chris Drew, Hang on, Drew. Hang on, Drew. Hang on, Drew. Yeah. Uh, Drew is glitching out, so I'm just going to take over the news until he figures his crap out. Yeah, take so, it over. Uh, <laughs> hang on, dude. Do it. So, um, news number one Xbox and PlayStation networks were grounded by hackers over the Christmas break. We touched on this briefly in my rant earlier. Basically, uh, a hacker group called Lizard Squad um, basically Lizard attacked the networks, did a DDoS attack, and. Um, brought the networks down for like four days over Christmas. So very frustrating. A lot of, uh, a lot of gamers pissed off, obviously a lot of angry. Um, so the thing that sucks is like Sony and Microsoft have both taken uh, a lot of crap for this from new customers, not understanding exactly what happened. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that, I mean, I get the frustration because I doubt that most people are as informed as maybe the four of us are about what goes on. Um, yeah, but it um, it sucks that they're getting kind of crapped on and like parents are pissed off and like, oh, I bought a crappy system when that's not the reality. I mean, the reality is some some shitty people decided to mess with your Christmas. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Anything that needs to be added other than these guys are dickheads? 
Nope, you basically said it for me. <laughs> at least please. it got fixed soon, I think, because I wasn't on the PSN network, but a lot of my friends were when they got hacked for, like, three months. Well, it got hacked once. Like, I, okay, yeah, this is a level of nerdiness. I just finished a book on Anonymous. So, uh, yeah, they hacked Those it. Those guys. Yeah, they hacked it what, for, like, one day, but then they couldn't figure out if things got stolen or not. And so they just kept it down for those, like, three months. Mm. Yeah, that was a bad time just, to be. Oh, that's I was like, say, that was the summer. I was an Xboxer back then, so I was like, ha, 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 suckers. <laughs> but so at least that didn't happen. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Always look on the bright yes. side. You, well, next time we you get like hacked, the little it silver lining. Last day. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> next time. Namaste. <laughs> Absolutely. News number two. Moving on. News number two. Kim.com saves Christmas for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 owners worldwide. So um, Kim.com basically came out and uh, offered the Lizard Squad, um, what is it, a lifetime subscription to... Uh, Mega. What, is it? what do they call it? Mega? Yeah. Oh, uh, So um, they got lifetime subscriptions to that. And in return for that, they stopped their DDoS attacks. Um, the Xbox was back up relatively soon. We don't following negotiate that. terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing corporations do. And uh, I don't know. I was just glad somebody stepped in to help out. So thoughts, people? Ugh. <sighs> It's, it's nice that he tried to save Christmas, but that's not how you get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it was good. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. Like, on one hand, I'm like, yeah, you know, it's cool that he stepped in to try and help out. On the other hand, I'm like, we shouldn't be giving these douchebags anything. Yeah. Like, they should be going to jail is where they should be going. Burn them at the stake, like, yeah. old school style. Roman, Roman Angry style. Angry mob parents <laughs> burning them. Where are my pitchforks? I, I wonder how many people actually would go to that length if given the opportunity. I'm sure there are at least a handful that like straight up would like <laughs> stab it's people. Over. To death. It is Jeff. Over. When it comes to destiny, I feel like you're think one about of those that. people. Uh, I don't think I would go that far, but I I would definitely punch had it faces. Been, had it there been one more week. Yeah, had it been a week, I might have lost it for sure. I do Especially not if get any upgrades. Oh, yeah. Don't don't. Let's not go there. Moving on, number three. <laughs> PS4 versus Xbox One. Which one won 2014? So um, Tech oh, Radar. Tech Radar had an article that came out basically breaking down the pros and cons of the two systems. Who did what right? Who did what wrong? And uh, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, um, PlayStation came out on top. Boom. What? Is, any, is, is anyone surprised by that? What? <gasps> no. <laughs> not even. I don't, I don't think so either. Um, I mean, it. Uh, we won. I was yeah. hoping the Wii U would get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what everyone else thinks. So sometime, <laughs> sometime the Wii U will win something. Once Zelda okay. comes out, they'll, they'll they might get a game of the year off Zelda. The new Zelda looks pretty sick. Um, so we're going to continue. Um, an, an opinion piece in Kotaku came out. Asking uh, that kind of discussed microtransactions and why they aren't going away anytime soon. And basically, what they learned was that um, what is it? One in ten gamers. I can't remember. I thought I had it in the intro. Anyway, oh, so much info I think graphic. it was one in ten. One in ten users are purchasing um, microtransactions in games. And so the question that I wanted to ask was: Have any of you guys ever purchased a microtransaction? Or made a micro, I guess the proper way to say it is, have you made a microtransaction in a game? Never, ever. Not even on that stupid little Simpsons game where you buy donuts and stuff. I don't. Mm -mm. I refuse. Rachel's or Candy it. Crush. I can't do it. I can't. And if the game tells me to, I say no. Good job. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to think here. It's like, there's like a little dinky Android game, but no, I. I think that I did it for Plants vs. Zombies <laughs> once. Yeah, this is me like really pulling far back. Pulling, but pulling the strings. Yeah, uh, that's that's it. And it's, like the the Assassin's Creed that shall not be named. When they ugh. when they started pulling that, I was just like, nope. <laughs> so I have only done it once, and it was for Mass Effect Three, and it was because I was desperate to get some Spectre level yeah. weapons. 
And while I both felt ashamed of myself, I was also really pumped when I got what I wanted. <laughs> so Mass Effects was was Mass Effects was kind of worse than other microtransactions because it was still random. Like you were still crossing your fingers if you per- you purchased basically a specter pack mm-hmm. which gave you a higher percentage of getting good weapons, but it didn't guarantee you anything. And Dude, I spent way too much money. Like, I shouldn't have spent a penny, and I probably spent like thirty bucks. Yeah, trying to get the weapons I wanted so that I could hang in See, the, the, the co-op multiplayer. Just compulsive gambling. Yeah, microtransactions was, are compulsive gambling. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally agree. So I haven't done it since Mass Effect Three, and my goal is to never do it again because it's it. lame. It sounds like so. Have you ever tried weed? I've done it once. <laughs> No, I only really did it on Plants vs. Zombies. I've never touched it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, news number five. A man buys a PS4, and what do you think you expect to find in the box when you open it up? Probably a PS4, right? This it's dude scary. got freaking rocks. So somebody, I think at a Walmart, right? Didn't he purchase at a Walmart? Uh, yeah. To Walmart, yep. So purchased a a box with rocks in it that said a PS4 on the outside. So if you're going to buy a PS4... Make sure it's coming from a legitimate source. And if it's not a PS4, take pictures, put it on social, get people in, like, let people know and return that crap for a real PS4. You think Walmart would be like a legit thing, though? Yeah, you would. That's what's kind of bizarre. I'll bet you anything that what happened is somebody bought the PS4, took the PS4 out, and then put the weighted rocks in there. Oh, that's exactly what happened, for sure. So what it ended up saying, it says um, it has sort of a happy ending. Walmart initially refused to refund the purchase, saying it had no proof that he didn't open the box up and put rocks in himself. But once this news agency aired the uh, story, they gave him his money back. So um, there's power in social media. So if something like this happens, man, Mm -hmm. freaking spread the word because that's some bullshit. Or you just bust out an Indiegogo campaign. It's like, please, look at this horrible thing that's happened. Yep, totally. All right, news number six. Uh, I put this in because I wanted to. I Destiny why. Bungie has extended Zer's hours in light of the DDoS attack on the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. So he will be around actually until 10 o'clock tonight Pacific. So the only way you're going to have this benefit you is if you're watching the live stream right now. So if you are and yep. you haven't visited Zer, he's still there. Go do it. This is your reward for watching us be awesome live. Absolutely. Number seven, uh, PlayStation has also extended their flash sale. Uh, So they had a Christmas flash sale. A bunch of very cool games um, have received a pretty heavy discount. Some of the, uh, I think, more interesting ones here, uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel is on sale. Mm. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter is on sale. Destiny is on sale. Dragon Age Inquisition and... um, Let's see. Anything else here look interesting to you guys? Uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands? What? What? Why would I, why have I not bought this yet? Yep. I need to hop on and get that. So that's what I'll be doing after we're done with the show today. Yeah, did I? Um, so check it out. Uh, the PSN oh, flash so sale will be going on through Wednesday. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps the news. So, yo, Rachel. What up? Oh, yo, yeah. girl. My part was like mid yawn. You want to do some uh, new releases? No, it's my bedtime. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) All right, let's do some music first. Make it so. You guys talked over it. Oh, that's awkward. awkward. (laughs) I thought I heard in the background. We need to figure out a better way to do this. Lies. (laughs) I like guessing. Or just trust Uh, me to press the buttons. um, We do. We weren't finished talking. If we can't hear it, we don't know when to talk again. Too. Yeah, we don't know when to stop. <laughs> we don't All stop. All right. So my computer just started downloading something by itself, which makes me nervous. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So January. Wow, we're in the January of 2015. That's an incorrect date. January 20th, 2015, Citizens of Earth and Resident Evil. January 27th is Grim Fandango, Dying Light, Dynasty Warriors 8, and Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. Let me repeat that last one. Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. Six, a four? That's a four. Are any of these uh, games that anyone is going to buy? Is this like a revamped Resident Evil? What is this? I think so. And so is Grim Fandango. Uh, Grim Fandango was announced at 
Was it Gamescom? No, it was. Um, uh, was it E3? Might have um, been E3. I think. Oh, gosh. I feel like it was either E3 or Gamescom, and um, Double I've, Fine is doing the remake of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember so. when they announced it. It was like it brought down the house. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really great. excited. I don't a know lot too of much. There was yeah. so much excitement. I don't know too much about. Um, <laughs> I don't know too much about Grim Fandango. I didn't play it originally, so I'm excited to see what all the the hubbub is about yeah. and uh, and get into it. I'm in the same boat. It's like I, I feel like I've missed out because I have not played it. It's like I'm I'm a poser. <laughs> I know. You are not a true gamer. Yeah, I'm feeling the same way. Um. That that kind of wraps up the new releases this month. It's pretty slow, right, Rachel? E, very slow. Very cool. Well, it's post holiday. Everyone's just worn out because they know that nobody's going to buy anything. We've already blown all our cash. Because all the things that were supposed to come out got pushed back. So <laughs> that's a good point. And they'll be coming out in February and March. I think is the is the big game months Ish. coming. Um. So. Speaking of big games, uh, I wanted to have just a quick conversation about some of our favorite games Drew's of the not year. Here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I'll, yeah. I think he said the words "data cap" because he was running off of his uh, uh, his hotspot. Time for him to get a better. Plan. <laughs> that was his last word. Data cap. No. As he, as he disappeared he into the void. <laughs> As he was consumed by the darkness. Oh, um, so dark. I wanted to have a conversation about our, our games of the year um, and kind of give an explanation as to why they were our games of the year. So do you guys care if I go first? Go for it. It'll give me more time to put together my list. I wonder wait, what's going to so be. Guess, guess number one. Just, just, just guess, guess number one, guys. I know. I don't know. It's going to be tough. I think it was... Uh... Ooh. The D, I think, it was like Call of Duty or something. Um, Dying light. Uh, uh, Dota. I, I think they're. I think you're thinking Destiny. So, um, <laughs> I've got. I actually put six games down that I that I really really enjoyed this year. Um, the first one being Destiny, and th- these really aren't in an order for this first section. Okay, so I put Destiny, Wolfenstein: The New Order, Child of Light, Far Cry Four, The Wolf Among Us, and Transistor. And um, so all of these games are kind of special to me for different reasons. Um, Child of Light, for example, was a a game that I played through with my daughter that I loved every second of it. I thought the story was fantastic. It's about a little girl looking for her dad in this, um, you know, otherworldly place that, um, you know, to play through it with my daughter was was really cool i mean she the whole time she's like cuddling on me and being like dad i he's she's looking for her daddy and she'd like cuddle me and so like it it was the first game that i've been able to play with my daughter like where we were playing together and like we had this connection right it was awesome uh another um kind of indie ish game that really spoke to me was transistor um i was struck by how just cool this game felt uh you know the art style is incredible did either of you two play it for transistor no yeah Yeah, i loved transistor and the fact that it was uh done by the people who did bastion i put i got the soundtrack and everything for it nice i just i just i was i was blown away by the art style and then like it just the game i mean really honestly like the game oozes coolness yeah it is just (laughs) it is a badass game and um the way that they utilize the dualshock 4 to have the voice of the sword come through Mm -hmm. the controller it felt I mean, it felt like you were carrying the sword around with you, and I I loved it. I thought it was such a cool addition to an already just hella cool game. Yeah, it was really Um, solid. Yeah, loved it. Um, The Wolf Among Us I put on this list because my my wife and I love to play games that, that have a story that we can go through and experience together. And so to be able to play through The Wolf Among Us and have my wife helping me make choices as we did it, um, I thought was really cool. Far Cry 4 I put on there because it helped me get through Black Christmas. And um, and then kind of the shocker of the year for me was Wolfenstein, The New Order. Um, Wolfenstein was uh, a huge kind of out of left field game that um, 
didn't have a lot of expectations attached to it. And it ended up actually being a fantastic story with really fun gameplay that, uh, that I enjoyed playing the whole way through. And, and my top game of the year is, is destiny. Um, Surprise. If for, or, if for Drew, no other reason. You're back. <laughs> Just yeah. came back to say that. So, <laughs> so if I had to pick, now. Yeah, if I had to pick a top three, I'd, I'd put number three at Transistor, number two at Child of Light, and then number one, Destiny. And, you know, Destiny, I've, I've said on here that I, I totally get that there are problems with Destiny. Like, I, I fully recognize the problems that are there. Um, but I've spent more time in Destiny than maybe any game outside of, like, Mass Effect 3 within the last five years. And maybe Final Fantasy 7 and Met- and like Metal Gear Solid from back when I was a teenager and could just p- spend hundreds and hundreds of hours in a game. Um, I miss those days. It just keeps drawing me back in. Like the loot is like, I always want the new loot and to play it with friends is, is a blast. And so f- for those reasons, Destiny has taken my top spot, but Child of Light was a close second and Transistor was, as I mentioned, a very cool third. Robin. Yes. <laughs> Favorites. Yes. Go. Yes. Just all of them. All of it. No. Um, I like games. I like games. I like things. No, I really liked uh, this one indie game called Entwined. Yep. We heard announced, about it. Announced yeah. the launch at uh, Announced e- the launch. E3, right? It looked beautiful. Yeah, that was one of the things. It was like, oh, yes. And by the way, this is available now. I'm like, oh, E3? As soon as they said that, I had Go. it downloading. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeff yeah did. No, <laughs> no I... That that game kind of hit me in the feels a little bit. Uh, there isn't really that much of a story, but I just I just loved how they did it. The style, of course, it's the the typical orange and blue uh, typology of like all video game covers. Like, look up orange and blue in uh, movie posters and video games. It's hilarious. Um. Then let's see what else did I write down. Uh, Wolf Among Us, the whole thing, it was fantastic. I just, I don't know, I love, like, here's a game, and now we're going to ask you to do a different type of thing with the game, like choose your own adventure kind of deal. And then, of course, uh, Valiant Hearts. Um, see, I, 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 I didn't even think of Valiant Hearts until I read it on your list, and I was just yep. like, dang, dude, Valiant yep. Hearts might... Valiant Hearts and Transistor might be fighting for third in my list. No, when I got finished with Valiant Hearts, it's just like tears just streaming. I'm like, yeah. <gasps> oh. That was a fun one. That was and fun. the music, the music in Valiant Hearts was just like, uh, I just, yeah, that's, that's an emotional yeah. game. If you haven't played it, check it out. Just hit me with the sledgehammer. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Far Cry 4, absolutely. And I'm very, very sad that I can't even the Assassin's Creed that shall not be mentioned because I was mm. so excited for it. Mm, sad, sad. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. And last is uh, what I've been playing for, oh gosh, how long have I logged? Maybe like 10-ish hours on it, but this war of mine. Oh. And it's so, like, have y'all... Uh, I, I don't know it? anything about it. Amazing okay, game. One, yeah, it's basically like The Sims in wartime. Oh, no. So what they're doing is they're taking the idea of, you know, in war, not everyone is a soldier. So what they're doing is showing civilian life in war zone. So you're trying to make it through the day, trying to keep your, um, like, little party of three warm and fed. And then at night you have to choose who gets to sleep, who gets to guard the place, and who gets to scavenge. Sounds emotional. Oh, man. It's like one of my... One of the people in the party um, got shot while I had him going out to scavenge. And I was just like, Why would no, you do that to him? No, not Katya. Not Katya. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just like, Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. But it's, it's truly permadeath. Uh, um, I would say mainstream uh, AAA studio game of the year for me had to be Far Cry 4. I mean, it just. It has everything that I wanted. It feels enough like Assassin's Creed that I get that out of it. But it has all of the... Oh, wait. It doesn't have all the bugs that Unity did. (laughs) (laughs) Darn. 
So do you have a, a top three then? Can you put them in a rank? Ooh. Or is that not something you're um, interested in doing? Um, okay. <laughs> let me let me do this. Let me you do this. can let me, abstain. Let me stare at this list for a second. It'll come to me. Um, number one, Far Cry 4. Number two, Borderlands 2. I know it, it isn't this year, but whatever. It's your 2014. It's my 2014. It's your 2014. It's what I want to do. Yeah. I'd do it all. And third, I'm going to go Wolf Among Us. Very cool. That's a good list. Right on, Rachel. Yay. So I had, this was the year where I really got into my PlayStation at all. So I was kind of playing a lot of the uh, the older games for most of this year on my PS3. I feel like. um, right, so the only new games, like the new release games that I played this year were, where I felt were Destiny, Watch Dogs, Grand Theft Auto V, and Far Cry 4. So, not anything too spectacular. Um, Far, Cry, Far Cry 4 is okay, but I don't think I'm enjoying it as much as you guys, just because I've been a pretty heavy Assassin's Creed follower, so it's just, it's just kind of like... Just kind of like a new game for me. So I think that's why I'm not enjoying as much. But uh some AC games, reskinned. Yeah, pretty much. That's all it is to me, and that's kind of what Watch Dogs was. So if I had to pick out of those ones, I think Grand Theft Auto Five was honestly my favorite. Which isn't saying a lot. So you got <laughs> lost in that one for a couple of days, didn't you? For, for like a couple of months. <laughs> months <laughs> She's going God. deep. Oh my hell. That's Every right. time Every time someone tells me they're playing it, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they love it. They always love it. All my friends are replaying it on the next-gen consoles, and I just... Maybe it's the online play that I didn't really get into because I stopped, stopped with gold. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, some other games that I really enjoyed this year were Brothers. Brothers is one of them. I know that's on Drew's list. I know. Yes. That one hit me so hard when I played it. And just because, like... When you're walking, because you use the sticks to control both of them, so when you lose one and you, it just doesn't, it didn't do anything. And just like physically doing that was, it's pretty rough for me. <laughs> um, another game that I really enjoyed was Flower. I played that for the first time this year on the oh, PS3. That was and that's fun, just, yeah. yeah. Right? It's just, I don't know. I, I cannot think. wait for Journey to get ported to PS4. Seriously. Like, I just thought the same thing. Oh. Me and Journey. So. <laughs> For everyone, yeah. So I think, think, but my all-time favorite game that I played this year was Borderlands Two. <laughs> I spent a lot of time and this had is it. Your 2014. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> had it not have been for Borderlands Two, I probably would be a level 20 warlock. <laughs> set. Uh-huh. Still not, still not anything great, but I would probably have a higher level because my Borderlands character is significantly higher than my Destiny character. Borderlands is just so funny. Uh, it's great. I just love it. Yeah, just all the humor inside of the game, mm-hmm. but that was that was the best one I played. And I've been wanting to play the pre-sequel, but I just need I just need like a week of a Borderlands break. Just a little bit longer. Just a little butt and, then I'll, and then I'll jump back. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll be a, It's a yeah. horse made of diamonds. <laughs> No, literally, it's a horse made of diamonds. What does he say? He's like, I think I'm going to name it Dumbass after you. He's yeah. Like, nah, I think I'm going to name him Butt Stallion. Stallion. Here, Butt Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You guys got it yeah. I need to get out more. What yes. about you, Drew? <laughs> huh. um, I, I, a, lot of, a lot of ones that have been said already. These would be by 2014. Really enjoyed the, the Bitter Child of Light. I don't think I got as far as, as you did. I think I only got about five, six hours into it. Um, love Brothers. I've loved Destiny, even though I don't like the first-person shooters. I've never been good at them, and I think the reason why I play Destiny as much as I do, as much as I have, is because I've actually been able to kill things. Yeah, like, for some really reason. Well. <laughs> like, in my, my past life in the FPS, not only do I get motion sick very easily, but I can't hit anything. I don't see anything happening. Uh, but with Destiny, I've actually, like, progressed and been able to, you know, level up and play with the big boys. So that was... I like that one. Um... <laughs> Loved, I love Little Big Planet three. I really enjoyed playing that with my kids, uh, and Hohokam oh, was one oh, that I, um. I I loved it. And so, if I had to stack them up for for my top three, I'd have to say that uh, Brothers was probably my my most favorite game, and. Um, Gosh, it's a tie between Little Big Planet and Ho Hokum because I love the uniqueness of of Ho Hokum trying to find out what the level is, like what the puzzle is. Mm-hmm. I'm a puzzler, um, and then. Um, so those are kind of like tied for second place, and then I, it's it's my 2014. I really played. I love playing uh, Nino Kuni. 
So Nino Kuni early in the year, I played Nino Kuni with the with the kids, and and while it's not a 2014 game, it was just um, amazingly fun to have that for a you know a good four or five weeks together. So that's for me, and the reason why I think I like all of those games is because of the they each kind of well at least you know brothers and Hokum, they just change things. You know yeah. what I mean? Like like they you, this is this is not the way you control your character. It's this way now. Uh, that that type of stuff for me is really cool. So I really enjoy just the innovation on those. That's it for me. Right on. Excellent. So, yeah, I think we have a pretty diverse uh, group of games, but there are a couple that kind of resonate throughout at least several. So Borderlands 2 is between two different ones. We have a couple that have the Wolf Among Us. Far Cry 4 carries through a couple. Um I honestly, I didn't even remember Valiant Hearts, and I don't know how I forgot about it because Valiant Hearts really struck a chord for me. Like, um, I don't know, just the well way that they told that story yeah. was just beautiful. And it was like um, the perfect adaptation of of a moving like comic book style. It was yeah, really well. and just so like affecting. the kind of papercraft. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was really well done. One. Yeah, just so affecting. Like, uh, you know, the gas grenades going off, and then it's telling you about the people that died from gas. Like, yeah, yeah. yep, Ugh, heavy and, game. Well, so, I think that the thing that I like most about that is that they took you back, like in that um, the photo library. Yeah, like they would and take you back, everything. and it's like this is what was actually happening. Like this is not something that we made up with the game. This is where we got everything from. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, what yeah, what a great way it. to do to do history and gaming, and I think there should be a lot more educational stuff coming down the pipe like that. Absolutely, That's my, my hope. Yes, I, absolutely. I'm in. Yep, totally agree. Um, so. All in all, guys, um, I mean, this wasn't the gaming year that we were we were told we would get. There were a lot of delays, a lot of stuff pushed into 2015. <laughs> but overall, lots of hacks. What, what would you give? What would you give 2014 for the gaming year? Like on a scale from A to D or F, even. I was about to say four stars. Um, a to D to yeah. F, like grade it. If I was to grade yeah. it, if you're, you, we got two teachers and two, stu- well, two <laughs> students ish. Nah. You're gonna grade this year. I, I don't know. Go ahead. Give it a C. I give it a C. What? Average. Wow, C. that's brutal. Sorry, I'm guys. the teacher. I'm supposed I'm to be playing. brutal. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> and you don't. You don't get a hot pepper. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, you chili pepper don't you. get a hot pepper. I don't know. Robert, I was actually. Do you have gonna... a hot pepper yet? I I don't even. I think I have like one review I on Great Pepper Professor oh, in like so Texas fresh. Tech. So. <laughs> No, I would. I would have to say, and I'm an easy grader. I'm a much easier grader, but you uh, are. I'm easy. I'm easy. Um, no, I, I was going to say, and granted, this is the first year that I've been able to get back into gaming. You know, get, being you know, you know, so busy with all that I do. But I was going to say B plus to A minus because I've enjoyed it, and also yeah. because the big games that have been pushed weren't big ones for me. Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'll look forward to them. I'll look, you know, I'll try them. I'll play them out. We're talking Bloodborne and the Order. And, eh. I'll, I'll check them, but for me, what I did get and what I played, I thoroughly enjoyed and had a great time. And so for me, I'm I'm right up there. I'm quite satisfied. You pass. Yeah, Very cool. I, I'm I'm leaning more towards a B. It's like you could have done better. You weren't stellar, but for what you had, it was okay. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, you tried. You tried. You and tried. honestly, I would I would much rather things be pushed back because yeah. I don't want another Unity. Like, yeah, let's just not yeah, let's not go pushed. down that road ever again. Push the freaking release date back and get your stuff together. Yep, totally agree. I I think I would agree. I'd, I'd give it like a B. Uh, if it was a bad day, if it was Black Christmas, I'd give it a B minus. But overall, I think a B is is appropriate. I don't deal in pluses and minuses. That's just more points for students to haggle over. <laughs> <laughs> nope. A B C D. Nice. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Uh-huh. And a UW. Right on. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 36 of the Little Big Cast. Uh, again, I am one of your hosts. You can follow me at Jeff Hawks on Twitter. Uh, you can follow Drew at Night20, K N I T E 2 0. And Robin at At Robin Hazlett. And Miss Rachel Hernandez at Pirate Rachel with P I R A T 3. And, Rachel. and she's got a new Twitch stream, so follow her. There. Yeah, watch me not kill wolves and ride <laughs> elephants. Oh Dude, yeah, riding elephants, yes, right. Every day. And and that wraps up another. Uh, that wraps up 2014 wow. of the little big cast people. Uh, we will see you. See we you. We'll see year. you next year. Uh,
Oh yeah, we'll be all over CES. So if you want to tune into our Twitter, uh, we'll tell you all the gaming news coming out of CES. And there's always not there's some games. There's more tech style stuff, but we will keep you up to date at the CES next week. So tune in. You know. You oh yeah. To. Adios. Deuces. This is the part where we dance. Do, do, but you I know. can't see me dancing. Or hear it. I'm just gonna I'm probably talking over, over it. You're going to have to restart that, Casey. Damn it, Tyler! Tyler! <laughs> Thanks. Look at my uh, guns. So oh, yeah. Uh, Did you work out? It, watch it. I know. I'm getting ripped, guys. Dang. Watch out. What are you doing? Uh, it's just the left hand. It's actually nuggets. stronger than the right hand. Lifting yeah. nuggets. It's syrup pumps at work, actually. <laughs> syrup Because I don't have that weight leverage, every, that height leverage everyone has. So I'm... Um, Pumping. <laughs> Squish. Nathan okay. Drake didn't didn't even. I know. I know. Let's try not to think about it. <laughs> you made it in my heart. All right, what's yeah. open? Matters. Scrota. My <laughs> fun <laughs> Scrota. Scrota comes first. Oh my god. Pinch and roll. <laughs> Pinch and roll is right.